Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Billy Mayhew experienced an emotional day on Tuesday's episode of Coronation Street. The beloved figure has been Paul's principal caregiver since Moses' departure a few weeks ago. Billy has worked hard, but in tonight's show, it was revealed that he has been neglecting his own health and putting Paul ahead of himself. Billy took more painkillers before going on a motorcycle ride with Paul and Summer's pal. Summer understood what Billy was doing and expressed concern, knowing that the potency of the medications could cause a relapse for Billy, who had previously battled a painkiller addiction. Billy was determined to battle on after the bike ride, which aggravated his back, and then went to the bistro with Paul for a romantic Valentine's Day afternoon. When a bunch of stags arrived, the dynamic shifted when Paul discovered one of them was an old acquaintance. When a barbershop quartet came and began singing, an inebriated Benno attempted to persuade Paul to dance. This irritated Billy so much that he grabbed Benno and punched him in the face. Fortunately, following a trip to the police station, Dee Dee assured Paul that as long as Billy apologized to Benno, the situation would be resolved. Back at home, a determined Paul demanded explanations from Billy, wondering why he was acting so out of character. Poor Billy began to deteriorate gradually. He stated to his girlfriend that he has been trying to make every day as positive as possible, terrified that one incorrect move could prompt Paul to want his assisted dying plan implemented. Billy then described how afraid he is of Paul saying those words, which would change everything. He implored his spouse not to make the decision and hoped that if he opened up more, Paul would choose him instead. It's unclear whether Paul will change his mind regarding assisted death, but we know he doesn't have much time with his friends and family. And with tonight's scenes of Billy spinning in summer becoming concerned about him, how will he live without Paul? Is this a hint that he's going down a dark and dangerous path? Lauren Bolton, a troubled character, raises concerns again in Coronation Street when she packs a bag and leaves her flat without telling her pals where she is going. In recent weeks, the spotlight has been on Lauren's older boyfriend. We've never met him, but he frequently sends Lauren flowers and gifts, which she proudly displays to her friends. In future episodes, Lauren reads a final demand letter from her energy company before making a call. She tells the person on the other end that she doesn't need their money and wants nothing more to do with them. Lauren accepts Bobby's date offer and Max and Sabrina arrive at the flat to discover her ready to make an Ovid's video. Later in the week, Bobby stops by the cafe to look for Lauren and is disappointed to learn that Roy fired her. Roy, feeling terrible, visits Lauren's flat with her salary. She thanked Roy for his thoughtfulness and informed him that she intends to leave Weatherfield to start over. Later that day, Bobby goes to the flat, but the door is unlocked. He enters himself in but realizes Lauren isn't home, so he texts her and quickly leaves, locking the door behind him. Back on the cobblestones, Bobby expresses his concerns about Lauren to Max, telling him that he discovered her flat door unlocked but no sign of her. A worrisome twist, where has Lauren Bolton gone? Has she left Weatherfield because of her boyfriend? Will she ever return? There are so many questions, but one thing is certain. Lauren has a lot more to say, according to Corey producer Ian McLeod. We'll see a complexity to her character that maybe we weren't aware of, and they'll now explore all the different components of Kate's range, such as, she's pretty punchy, she's quite hilarious, we'll see her in quite romantic set of storylines, and she'll continue to be quite tormented. Mary Taylor believes it is critical to remind the Coronation Street inhabitants of her affection for TV presenter Ben Shepard. In 2020, the iconic character confessed that she is arguably Ben's biggest fan. Mary told Scene that she adores the Tipping Point star so much that she purchased a warm and cozy blanket with his face on it. Most recently, in September, Mary demonstrated her strong feelings for Ben by telling George that she wanted her funeral package to be focused on him. In Tuesday's episode of the ITV Soap, many Weatherfield residents were celebrating club, Valentine's Mary confided Day. to Daisy that she plans to watch Bridget Jones and consume a box of chocolates. She cried into her Ben Shepherd cushion. Poor Mary, her crush on Ben Shepherd is stronger than ever before. She possesses a Ben blanket and a Ben cushion, and she most likely falls asleep at night fantasizing about the day she meets her one true love. 
It must happen, right? Can someone offer Ben a ticket to Weatherfield, please? Ryan Prescott has announced his return to Coronation Street, despite his character Ryan Connor's departure from the program in December. Viewers will recall Ryan's difficult year first protecting Collie Daisy Midgley from a horrible acid assault that left him scurred for life, and then falling madly in love with her. Daisy then catfished Ryan under the guise of being his ex-girlfriend Crystal Hyde. Ryan was obviously outraged when he found out, but the two forgave and engaged in a torrid romance, devastating Daisy's lover Daniel Osborne. Ryan's use of steroids while generating nude footage for membership site Ovids. Corey's fake on Lafin's counterfeit was also revealed in a surprising plot twist. After a harrowing year, he left for pastures new in Glasgow, where he reconnected with Crystal to start a DJ residency, but actor Ryan acknowledged yesterday that his departure was not as permanent as previously imagined. Is he still not back? He should be back. I thought he was back this week, Ryan told The Mirror during the TV Choice Awards last night. Filming is six to eight weeks ahead of transmission, so I've been back a month and it's coming shortly, he explained. But sometimes they stretch it out a little. Fans of the ITV soap will definitely wonder if his comeback would result in sparks flying with Daisy again. It's like a love square now, he remarked, alluding to Daniel's recent romance with ex-Bethany Platt. There is space for disaster for sure, I believe he will always have a link with Daisy. There are always chances in the future. Regarding his hopes for the character, he added, I'd like to see Ryan come through what occurred last year and the denial of the acid attack, be a little more grounded, and have a true relationship for once, something a little more traditional. Will Ryan pick up a copy of Chit Chat magazine after Bethany writes a bombshell tell-all about his catfishing incident? Katie McGlynn from Coronation Street has reportedly found love with former TOWIE star Ricky Raymond. The Cynia Tinker actress, 30 and reality personality, 32, were recently seen out and about in Essex. In one photo, the couple who have supposedly been dating for four months can be seen holding hands and kissing. A source informed The Sun that they appeared to be girlfriend and boyfriend. They were walking amid other Saturday afternoon shoppers, holding hands, laughing, and even sharing a small kiss. Ricky, who appeared on TOWIE from series 4 to 14, became engaged to Marnie Simpson, a Geordie Shore cast member, in 2015, but the couple split up later that year. Following his appearance on the reality show, the star decided to establish a fishing clothing line called Filthy Hooker. After leaving, she joined Hollyoaks as the scheming Becky Quentin, a role she held for a year. The soap star also competed in the 2021 season of Strictly Come Dancing alongside Gorka Marquez. During the 2022 TRIC Awards, she stated that she had an interesting year ahead of her with a number of projects in the works, telling The Sun Online, I've got a lot of projects but I can't say for certain yet, but it's going to be an incredible year. I've never planned my career. I just enjoy working. I want to stick with television, Netflix, and movies. I'd love to do anything stage-related. At the moment, I want to stick to drama and Netflix-type content. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.